uh, in this video, I will explain the remaining part of chapter 4. So this will be, this will be the last unit for chapter 4, Amplitude Modulation Transmitter. So uh, for this video, basically I will explain more on the um, um the the more on the practicality how we can design our own uh transmitter okay for am modulating circuit basically there are two level of modulation one we call as low level another one is medium level so we don't have high level modulation because we don't want the the process to produce uh over modulation in uh, modulation index okay so for low level modulation is actually less modulating signal power is required to achieve a high percentage of modulation. So for this low level modulation circuit, uh, it will use single transmitter where uh, the modulator will be uh, connected to the emitter of the transistor. Next is the mod medium level modulation. For this one, uh, the carrier signal uh, is at its ma maximum amplitude uh, and Therefore, much higher amplitude demodulating signal is required to achieve high percent modulation. So, with this medium level modulation is also can be used to achieve high percent modulation index. So, for this one, uh, it's also used single transistor, but this time around, the modulator is connected to the collector. So, first is uh, the low level modulator uh, operation circuit. So, this is the uh, uh, the, the operation circuit for the low level modulator, all right? So it use one uh, a single transmit transistor over here, uh, and the base of the transistor is uh, applied directly to the carrier, all right? And then for the collector, uh, it will be uh, got it uh, used to. Uh, uh, produce the USF carrier and also LSF. And for the emitter, all right, the modulating signal will be uh, applied uh, to the emitter through isolation transformer. So this is the isolation transformer, all right. And at the uh, before the output, this is the output of AM signal. There will be uh, there is a need to put a capacitor here C two to remove modulating signal frequency from waveform in order to produce a symmetrical AM envelope at the output. All right. So this will be the, um, the, the idea how we can produce a modulator for our AM signal. And as you need to know, based on what kind of um, AM signal that you want to produce, you need to tune certain part of the electronics inside your circuit so that you can get the exactly the desired uh, output signal for your system. Next, uh, this is the uh, how we can see the, the changes that we can observe from the signal waveform. All right, at the collector, all right, this is the voltage uh, waveform. All right, uh, the modulated carrier will be simple imposed onto a modulating signal. So the carrier and also modulating signal will be will be on the uh, it's not what we call it nicely um uh or call it done when we see on this envelope uh, sorry on this waveform we want the envelope to be at the output so what we need to do is we need to use the c2 capacitor so it it will remove the modulating signal frequency and produce this type of uh, envelope on the uh, at the output right and this is why we need that capacitor c2 right the characteristic of this uh, low level modulating uh, circuit or modulator is actually the amplitude of the output signal depends on the carrier amplitude uh, as well as the voltage gain of amplifier and uh, but for the modulation index it depends entirely on the modulating signal amplitude all right, and is this circuit is very simple, uh, but it's not capable in producing high power output waveform, just very low power. All right, uh, for the next one is the medium level modulator. Uh, this is the simply, uh, sorry, simplified medium power transistor. So by using a transistor over here, 
all right uh, as usual the base will be to the carrier all right and for the uh, emitter to the base but for the collector it will connect it uh, to the uh, modulating signal and use a RFC or radio frequency choke that acts as a short to DC and open to high frequency. So uh, this also the RFC also isolates the DC from high frequency carrier and as well as side frequency. So uh, the RFC will allow low frequency modulating signal to modulate uh, the signal from the collector and produce the output over here. So what happened to the waveform? Uh, based on this uh, uh, slide, basically I will explain what happened to the waveform when we don't have any modulating signal. And next I will explain what happened to the waveform when we have the modulating signal. So for this one, uh, this, this is actually the collector waveform with no modulating signal, meaning that there will be no signal come out from the uh, oh, cut it from the the uh, RFC before the collector. All right, and if you read over here, all right, basically the the amplitude of carrier uh, will. Okay, for this medium level modulator, um, I will explain about what happened to the waveform uh, when we try to extract it from the uh, modulator circuit. Alright, so this is the example for collector waveform. Uh, I think I will explain without no modulating signal first. Okay, so for this uh, slide or mod medium level modulator, there will be two examples or two way of explanation. One is with no modulating signal. Another one is when we have the modulating signal. So first, I want to explain what happened to the modulator when we don't have any uh, modulating signal to be modulated with the carrier. So uh, I actually put it, put the explanation explanation on the next slide, but I will explain it here so that you can uh, uh, understand better. So when the uh, amplitude of carrier exceeds the um, the barrier potential between base and also sorry base and emitter, okay, base and emitter over here, uh, it's about zero point seven uh, volt, right? The transistor turns on, and then the currents will flow into the collector. So, uh, but when the Voltage, uh, sorry, no, uh, the amplitude of carrier drops below 0 0.7, meaning that below this area, this is uh, over 0 0.7, between this area, right, the transistor will turn off and then the collector current will be stopped, right. And then uh, during each time where the transistor is on, the negative going waveform is produced at the collector. So this is the current of the collector. It will produce whatever happened, uh, whatever we had uh, when whenever the transistor is on. So when the transistor, we will get this part only, all right, uh, on. Okay, and this will reflect to the current of the collector. Right. And then it will resemble a repetitive Half, half wave rectified signal with fundamental frequency uh, equal to carrier frequency. So this will be the uh, uh, the uh, output voltage, all right? Uh, and you can find this uh, that, this kind of uh, waveform when we uh, see the waveform at the output. For this one, you may want to see around here, all right? And this one will be from here. Okay, that would be the one when with uh, no modulating signal. So with the modulating signal, so that means from the collector part, all right, this one will produce a modulating signal and then connect with the, uh, will apply directly to the collector. So for this one, all right, what happened is uh, the voltage of modulating signal adds to and subtract from the VCC over here. 
Alright, and that output voltage waveform swings from max value, maximum value, uh, to a minimum value. So around 2 VCC to maybe 0, alright. Uh, when the amplitude of carrier exceeds the barrier potential of BE junction here, just uh, I mean, same just now, uh, the transistor will turn on and then the current will flow in. And then uh, when the uh, amplitude of carrier drops below than uh, 0 0.7 volt, uh, the transistor turns off and then the collector current says. So during each time when the uh, transistor is on, right, uh, meaning that the the current no, the, the the amplitude is zero point seven volt, uh, the negative going waveform is produced at the collector. So this is the current waveform, all right, and the what whenever the zero uh the the, the sorry uh, the transistor is on, uh, this part of the uh, voltage carrier, all right, will be reflect to this uh, current uh, at the collector, all right, and then uh, it will resemble a repetitive half, half wave rectified carrier superimposed into a low frequency AC impulse signal. So, this what happened uh, at the output. Uh, so, this on this area, maybe this will be. The one that you will get uh, for the waveform and this will be the one that you get from the output so if we compare uh, these two uh, example of current uh, sorry the waveform of the current at the collector as well as the output you will see the the uh, what call it, the, the increase and decrease of uh, uh, what call it, shape uh, or maybe the current values, all right? Before this, when we don't have any uh, modulating signal, the current uh, will get almost same amplitude at the uh, current uh, collector, all right? But when we have the modulating signal, uh, the, the amplitude of the current uh, at the uh, uh, collector will be slightly up and down. There will be increase and decrease. All right, so that will be uh, the, the difference when we have a modulating signal and when we don't have any modulating signal inside a modulator, medium level modulating.